Hey everybody, this week is the second week of Advent. Does anybody remember what the second Advent candle was? It was peace. The first Advent candle was hope, and the second one was peace. So this week, we're all thinking about peace. We want to think about how we can bring peace on earth, and we also want to think about when Jesus was born and grew up and had his ministry, how he did bring peace on earth as well. So this week, we're going to make an angel. So the story I'm going to tell you this week is about when Mary and Joseph found out that Jesus was going to be born. So I want you to think about, while you listen to this story, how the angel Gabriel brought each one of them peace. So go ahead, and here's the story. This story from the Bible tells us how God sent his son Jesus to live in our world. For a long, long time, people had read God's promises that one day he would send his own son from heaven to rule the earth and bring hope and peace. So people waited and prayed. A young unmarried girl lived in the town of Nazareth. She loved God with all her heart and was kind and good. God sent the angel Gabriel to tell Mary that she was to be the promised Savior's mother. Don't be frightened, Gabriel said. You are special and God has chosen you. God's Holy Spirit will touch you and the baby boy you will have will be the promised one people have been waiting for. You will call him Jesus. In three months, your cousin Elizabeth will also have a baby boy, even though she is now far too old to be a mother. With God, nothing shall be impossible. Go and see her, said the angel. I will do everything God wants me to do, replied Mary, and left as soon as she could go visit her cousin in Judea. Elizabeth was six months pregnant, just as the angel had said. It was a miracle, and the two mothers thanked God. Joseph, the carpenter who had promised to marry Mary one day. He was a good man, but he didn't know what to do about Mary having a baby, knowing it wasn't his baby. One night, the angel Gabriel also visited Joseph and told him not to be afraid. The angel said, Joseph, Take Mary and take good care of her, because she is a pure young girl who has been chosen as part of God's wonderful plan to be the mother of the Savior of the world. The baby's name shall be Jesus. And Joseph believed the angel and went and took Mary as his wife. So, how did the angel bring Mary peace? He came to her and told her, that she was going to have a baby. But he told her to be calm and that it was what God wanted her to do. And she took comfort in knowing that she was part of God's plan. How did the angel bring comfort to Joseph? Kind of the same way as Mary, right? He was kind of skeptical about this whole situation. But the angel came to him and said, this is God's plan. Go ahead and marry Mary and everything's going to be okay. So the angel came and told them that God knew what he was doing, that this was the plan for their lives, and it helped them to have peace in their lives. When Jesus grew up, he brought peace into the world. He healed the sick and helped people find their way to God, and those both help us to have peace in our lives and live peacefully with each other. These who are following God, we're going to be more likely to be peaceful and nice and kind to other people. So what are some ways that we can bring peace on earth today in our lives? We can give each other compliments and be nice to each other. You can do things around the house without being asked. That's a really big help to our moms and dads. And it really helps us to spread kindness and joy and help spread peace. Another thing we can do is we can donate toys or food to a toy or a food drive to help families during this time of the year have a nice Christmas and have some more peace and comfort in their lives as well. So we're going to go ahead and do our craft. We're going to make an angel this week. For this craft, you're going to want your three popsicle sticks, your sparkly pipe cleaner, 
You want some scissors, you want some glue, you want some white paper, you want something to write with, and you also want some tape. That's really going to help you out putting this together. The first thing I want you to do is I want to trace your hand twice, but you're not going to trace your thumb. You're just going to trace around your four fingers. So there's once, and then I'm going to do it one more time. I almost did my thumb that time. Once you traced your fingers, you're going to go ahead and want to cut them out. These are going to be your angel's wings. So here's one of them, and I'm going to go ahead and cut out the other one. Now I have my two sets of angel wings. I cut them really short so there's not a whole lot of paper just before my fingers. You can put more if you want. Your angel wings are just going to be longer. So one more thing you need to cut out. You need to take your paper and cut a circle out of this. You can do this by rotating your paper like I'm doing here. Your circle doesn't have to be that big. This is going to be the face of your angel. So you don't want it to be really big. You don't want them to have a giant head, but you also don't want it to be really small. You want them to have a good size face, probably about an inch and a half across. So something like this. Now it's time to put our A together. So you're gonna take two popsicle sticks. You're gonna put them together so they make a triangle and you can either glue or you can tape those two popsicle sticks together. So it might take a couple pieces of tape or a while the glue. They're a little bit hard to make stay together. So here's my triangle part of my A. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the middle part of my capital A. So I'm going to take my third popsicle stick. I'm going to put it right across there and then I'm going to tape it down. So I'm going to tape both sides of it down. And that's going to be the back. So when I flip it over, you can still see the tape now, but after I put all the parts onto it, you shouldn't be able to see the um, tape anymore. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my angel wing. So I'm going to put a piece of tape on both of my angel wings. I'm going to put it on the back where I have my finger markings from where I trace. So you can't see those anymore. And I'm going to put it on one side of my A so it comes out looking like this. Let's make it straight. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other set of fingers. So I'm going to put some tape on there and tape that side down. So here's what it looks like so far. So I don't have a face on my angel. I just have my A with some wings on it. Here's my circle. I'm going to go ahead and put a smiley face on my circle. So this is my angel's face. Just like that. And then I'm going to attach it to my A with some tape. So now I have two wings and I have my face. So the last thing we're going to do to finish our angel, we're going to take our sparkly pipe cleaner and you are going to make it a halo. So what you're going to do is you're going to bend it a little bit more than in half. So you want a short end and a long end. And then you're going to take your long end and make it into a circle as best as you can like this. And then you're going to wrap that little tiny piece sticking out around so that you form a loop like this. And I'm going to bend it down and then I'm going to take another piece of tape. And I'm going to attach this to the back of my angel's head. So my angel ends up looking like this. So that's it for this week. I hope you had fun and I hope I see you in Sunday school on Sunday. Bye.